Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Good Owl Games, the place where I love to give you two player insights into some great games for game night. So today I'm doing a Kickstarter preview for Matches, the game that's going to set your world on fire. And here's five things I think you need to know about it. <laughs> Legends tell of an old mill that burned down in a fire. Once the smoke cleared, nothing remained, except this box of matches. Matches is a trick-taking game in which you control the fire by matching the face-up number with cards in your hand. Then you can add a fire token if the card is an exact match or you used a flare card. And you better hope your opponents can handle the flames as each token adds plus one to the number. Once you can't match the number, you burn out and the round finishes. You'll earn tokens for keeping your cards till the end and for playing pairs. Get the most fire tokens after four rounds to keep the fire burning. Thing one, what's this game all about? So Matches is a game with a bit of a sordid past. So the story goes, an old lumber mill burnt down and the only thing that survived inside was this box of matches. So yeah, more of a, a setting than a theme, but I kind of love it. Um, I like the spooky idea, I like the little supernatural, a little weird, where did it come from? I think it just adds a bit of life to the game and it's definitely carried through in kind of the art style and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a nice spooky looking game. Um, now, similar games to this, well, it definitely falls into the vein of trick taking games, but it's got its own tricks too. Thing two, what's this game all about? So matches is a trick taking game, but it's a little different than what you're used to because normally trick taking games are about having a, ha a handful of numbered cards and you're trying to play them to match specific numbers so that there are no cards left in your hand and you get points. Um, matches, however, wants, is, wants you to play cards, but also to hold on to them for as long as possible because that's how you get the points. And how this works is that there will be a card face up on the table whose number you want to match with the numbered cards in your hand. So if there's a three um, in play on the table, you want to play maybe a two and a one, um, which is good. You can combine cards. You can also turn any card upside down to be a one as well, which works great. But cool stuff happens if you match the number exactly. So if you play a three, you get to put a fire token out on the card. This also happens as well if you play a flare card from your deck and that's like a wild card. It basically allows you to skip what you're trying to do for the turn um, and it puts this fire token out. Fire tokens are cool because what they do is each one adds an extra number to the number card. So if it starts out as three, then you add a fire token, it becomes a four. You add another fire token, it becomes a five. You see the trick here? And then it's passed you know, to the person next to you once you've tried to complete the number. And they now have a new number they, they have to try and match with their hand of cards. And this carries on up until the point where nobody can play um, any more cards except for one person. And that one person gets to take all the fire tokens off that card in the center as their points. And everyone else gets points for kind of every pair they managed to play as the round went around. And you do this for four rounds. It's a straightforward and fun little game. Um, and let's not forget the added kind of fun stress those fire tokens add. Thing three on the table. So Matches is a pretty good looking game all set up, despite there not being a lot of it on the table in the first place. Um, it takes no time at all really to set up or put away and it was about 25 minutes for two of us to play. But I will recommend that I think this game will be so much better with more players, even though it was pretty fine at two. Um, the rulebook was clear and concise and as far as replayability goes, well, a numbers matching game so it's going to be a bit different but there is an additional mode you can play where you have a deck full of cards and these are kind of like abilities that you can pay for using your fire tokens and I really like these I thought they really jazzed the game up a bit so there's not just the base game there's this extra bit too and it's well worth trying out. Thing four how does this game look and feel? So I'm dealing with a prototype copy, so you know, this isn't the final version, but what I have is incredibly lovely. 
Um, I really like the box art. It's kind of creepy and ominous and it's got these strong colors. Um, I love that the box itself is an actual match box. You can kind of see it down the side, which is really fun. And this kind of strong color theme is carried through onto the cards inside of the game. And some of the cards are kind of burnt along the bottom. They look like they've been caught in a fire. I thought that was really, really cool. Not to mention the fact that the first player marker is a giant matchstick, <laughs> which I really liked as well. Um, components wise, the card stock here is lovely. Um, like this game's been put together with a lot of care. Um, yeah, overall matches is an incredibly stylish and good looking game. And I think it would look fantastic on your shelf. Thing five, is this game actually any good? Certainly there's tons of great things I can tell you about matches. It, it's small, it's quick to play, it's not difficult to learn, it'd be good with a group, and it's ridiculously, ridiculously good looking. Um, but I'm probably not the best person to tell you all of these things because I'm not a huge fan of trick-taking games to begin with. However, there are a couple of things here that I think, you know, make this kind of easier to enjoy. Um, and the first is the fact that instead of trying to get rid of your hand as quickly as possible, like in most trick taking games, you're trying to conserve it. And I think that play style kind of fit me a little bit better than most. I, I did I did better with, the, with it this way. Um, but of course, the big star here is the fire tokens going on the card. Um, I think this is the most fun element of the game where you are trying to kind of ramp the fire up as quickly as possible to maybe prevent your opponents being able to play anything. But also this idea that you're all carefully curating a fire between you um, fits so lovely in with the theme. And I really enjoyed that. It was really quite fun. Um, yeah, this is a, a nicely made, well thought out game. It's not for me, no, but it doesn't take away from any of the triumphs that are here. This is a really fun little game. Do I think you should have matches in your board game collection? Well, I think if you want a little bit of spook in your trick taking games, then you probably should head over to Kickstarter and check it out right now. You've been watching Good Owl Games. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about matches, why not check them off in the comment box below? So tune in again next time for some more short and hopefully informative board game reviews.